amazing job on that strength workout. We are going to get right into our stretch. So let's just start out with some nice relaxing deep breaths, taking it in, breathing in, and then exhaling here. Nice deep breath, and then let it all out. And let's do one more. And we're gonna stretch our entire body today. So let's just start holding on to your wrist with one hand. We're gonna reach over to the side. And when you do this, think about reaching up and over and really stretching and breathing. And we're gonna hold each stretch about 30 seconds. That is going to give our body enough time to really get a deep stretch and start to relax. Keeping a slight bend in your knees here as well. And as you exhale, you can try to take it a little bit deeper, really stretching out, elongating here as you reach up and over. We're just gonna switch sides in three, two, and one. Reach it up nice and tall center. And let's switch it over. So holding onto your wrist up and over. Good. And again, as you exhale, you can try to take it a little bit deeper. You can think about driving your hips to the other side as well. Five more seconds, and then we'll bring it up. So right here, let's bring it back up nice and tall. Open up your legs to a sumo squat position. We're gonna go down into a sumo squat and we're gonna hold it down here. So get yourself comfortable nice and low here. Weights in the heels. We're gonna drop one shoulder towards the center of the mat. So as you do that, press out on the inside of your knees to open up the hips here. Good, and press back. Breathing. If you can get a little bit more of a twist, do that now. And as you do, exhale. Good, and we're gonna switch it over in three, two, one. Now we're gonna take that other shoulder, dropping it down center here. Good, and breathing. Sink your bum down. So really opening up, stretching the hips out here, the inner thighs, feeling this in the back as well. Good, almost there, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna walk our feet together. And from here, we're gonna reach up nice and tall and we're gonna walk it down and out. So start to walk your hands out here, bring it down, tuck your feet under, push away here. So elbows are tucked in, you're pushing through the heels of your hands and you're breathing. Good, and we're gonna twist we're gonna walk it just to one side and get a little bit of a twist here and holding it. Think about driving your hips down into the mat as well. So you're getting a nice stretch in the back and in the hips, but still keeping that chest open, elbows are tucked in. We're gonna walk it back center and then walk it over just a little bit to the other side and twisting again. So you're looking over your shoulder, getting this twist in, breathing. Good, from here we're gonna slowly walk it down, roll to your side. And from here you can have your hand underneath your head or out, but we're gonna take and we're gonna get a quad stretch. So reaching for your ankle, we're gonna hold on to the ankle here. So think about bringing that heel into your bum Squeezing the glutes to get a uh, deeper stretch in the quad. Good, 
Good, and breathing. Next, we're gonna roll it onto our back. Good, in three, two, and one. Roll it onto your back here. From here, where we did the quad stretch with that leg, we're gonna bring the leg up. Now you can hold onto the back of your um, back of your leg here, taking it as deep as you can. And as you exhale, you can try to take it a little bit deeper. Try to keep the leg that's on the ground, keep that on the mat. Breathing. And exhale, take it a little bit deeper if you can. We're gonna hold it just a few more seconds. Good, here's three, two, one. From here, we're gonna take and cross this leg over our body. So we're gonna twist, holding onto that leg, extending the other arm, and just breathing and relaxing. Good, hold it about 10 more seconds. We're gonna stretch the glutes out next. In three, two, one. We're gonna take and roll it back to our back, keeping the same leg. You're gonna bring the bottom knee up bent. Now you can hold it here, depending on your flexibility. If not, you can reach right in between your leg and on the other side, holding onto the back of your leg and we're gonna pull that leg in. So stretching the glute, you can even use this arm to press back on right above your knee here, opening up your hips a little bit more. Pull that leg in, breathing. Take it a little bit deeper if you can for three, two, and one. Gently let that leg go. And now we're gonna take and switch and do those same stretches on the other side. So rolling on to your side, we're gonna do that quad stretch first. So arm can be out or right on your head here. And holding on, breathing. Again, you can squeeze your glutes here to get a little bit of a deeper stretch. Stretching, I call stretching the dessert, if you did not know this, because it is our little treat after working so hard and you've done amazing on the strength and the stretch will really just help to reduce muscle soreness, increase your flexibility and prevent injury, which I mean, that's awesome. We're gonna hold it for three more and then we're gonna roll on our back in two and one. So roll it over back onto your back. Again, we're gonna do that hamstring stretch so you can bring that leg up, holding on here to the back of your leg. Keeping that leg down on the ground. Exhale, if you wanna to try to take it a little bit deeper. Good, breathing. Next, we're gonna take that leg across. Good, in three, two, one. Bending that knee in, taking it across so opposite arm is reaching, other arm extends out and just drop that knee to the ground. So feeling this in your back, breathing. Three more seconds, and then we're gonna bring ourselves back to center on the mat. Here's two and one, roll it back to center. You can keep this, um, or bend the other leg, we're gonna cross it over and we're gonna get a glute stretch. So here we go. So you can hold on here. You can keep that leg on the ground if you need to do that, wherever your flexibility allows, but we're gonna start pulling it in just a little bit closer. Again, you can use your elbow to push right below your knee, opening up the hips. Go ahead and let's try to take it a little bit deeper. Exhale. Good, and just try to relax. Let your mind relax here as well. Good, in three, two, 
One, we're gonna gently bring our legs down, slowly bringing down our feet. We're gonna sit it on up, facing center now. So from here, we're gonna do a nice neck stretch. So you can sit just cross-legged, holding on to your head, and you're gonna press away with the other hand. So bringing this ear down to your shoulder, breathing. Really try to reach away with that hand so you can feel a nice stretch. We're gonna switch sides here in five seconds. In three, here's two, and one. You can roll your neck down, switching to the other side. So now we're gonna take gently holding on, extending out, bringing your ear down towards your shoulder. Really extend out, and as you extend, make sure you exhale. Holding it a few more seconds. Good, in three, two, one. Bring your head up, just gently clasp your hands, reach out and then up. Sit up nice and tall, breathing. and let your hands come down nice and slow. That was our dessert. That should feel oh so good and you should feel amazing after your strength and stretch. You are awesome and I love you.